seeing her on stage made me feel like I could see myself on stage. Who brought me to my first opera? Well, um, when I think about back to the day when I saw my first opera, it was the Governor School for the Arts in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, that took me to my first field trip to New York City, which was actually the reason why I was so excited about uh, opera was because of New York City and uh, not because of the opera. Um, and I'd never seen an opera before. And as I uh, uh, explained, you'll see, you'll hear, you'll hear about it in the book. Um, I thought opera was this like sort of uh, caricature of a you know big fat. Uh, white Viking lady breaking windows, and you know, like the things you saw in Looney Tunes or all those kind of uh, things back in the day. And uh, so, for me, I didn't think opera was something that was e even accessible to someone like me. And I grew up um, in, a, in, you know, uh, underwhelming, uh, underwhelming circumstances in a, um, in a low-income housing in Virginia, uh, in a trailer park. And you know, opera wasn't something that you know you hear in the streets, uh, especially in all-black neighborhoods. And uh, when I came to New York. And uh, came to the came came to Lincoln Center, walking into the the arches and into the Metropolitan Opera. I thought I was in a castle, like a sort of modern Ro Roman uh, 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 gladi gladiatorial mm -hmm. uh, theater. It was it was in the, with the Tiffany glass and everything. I really thought like this is this is definitely not someplace I should be. Uh, and uh, when I sat in the audience and uh, started to hear the music of uh, uh, Bizet's Carmen. Um, I immediately recognized that, oh my gosh, I've heard this before. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and throughout this opera, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I've heard this before. This is on, like, this is on so many movies that I've seen, this, the, the, from the Habanera to the Torre, Torreador. And, uh, and what made the opera so big for me, so life-changing and path-changing for me was that the person singing the lead role, the main character of Carmen, Carmen was played by the mezzo-soprano Denise Graves. And, uh, who's currently in Marnie wow. at the Met, um, which all of you should go see. Uh, <laughs> and I, seeing her on stage made me feel like I could see myself on stage. And the way that she, you know, made me feel all of these emotions. And you know, the, and they talk about how opera, you don't really need to understand the the language that they sing in to really get the feeling or get the story. That is the true definition of some of Denise Graves' like uh, performances. I didn't even look at my, uh, my Figaro screen mm -hmm. where it gave me the translation. I was so enthralled at, in everything that she was uh, physically and vocally portraying to me. I didn't need it. I knew exactly what was happening.